What is up from workout and bodyweight exercise fans in today's video from me the muscle I'll be giving you five tips on how to train more efficiently during very busy weeks of the year you know uh, maybe you're having some uh, family problems or some friends of yours have uh, problems knock on wood maybe you're dealing with some uh, very difficult business related things maybe you're moving to a new apartment as I've been doing the last week which has been proven a lot more complex and overwhelming than I expected. So what do you do in these kinds of cases? In, uh, because with a lot of people, I realize that the main way it's going to go, you're either going to do, uh, you're either going to try to do everything perfectly until you fail and you get frustrated and say hell with it all, or you're not going to do anything at all. Now, the best solution is something in between. So the best solution is to maintain your strength, to do enough to you know just maintain your physique and your uh, everything you've built till now starting with tip number one this is going to be about the three basic strength training principles which are frequency volume and intensity in terms of frequency you should train at least twice a week and do at least all the five basic strength training uh, movements which are these number one horizontal pull so that's basically inverted rows if you're doing the homemade muscle, if you're following the homemade muscle protocol. Number two is a vertical pull, so that's pull-ups in our case again. Number three, um, vertical push, so that's handstand push-ups or hike push-ups depending on your level. Number four, uh, what's left, yeah, horizontal push, so that's going to be either push-ups or one-arm push-ups. And number five, some kind of squatting exercise. Uh, my favorite is weighted lunges, as you all know. So if you focus on hitting these five exercises twice a week, you'll be fine. You know, you won't lose any strength. You won't um, regress in terms of your physique or anything. You know, as long as you keep on doing these twice a week and, uh, you know, don't worry about the other exercises, exercises like dips or core training, you know, uh, those will, you know, be activated with the exercises we already mentioned. You can put them aside for a little while, no problem. Now, our second tip is warming up. What I mean by that, uh, you, you should not in any case neglect your warm up just because you have no time and you want to train more. It's always best to warm up properly and, you know, do whatever you can do in the time that's left than skipping your warm up because uh, you know, you can skip your warm up once or twice, but you can only get injured once, which will keep you back for maybe another month. So, always do a proper warm up, no matter how much time you have, even if you can do just a warm up and one exercise. Tip number three is getting everything done early in the day before all the tasks begin. You know, so training early in the morning is the best way to go in these kinds of uh, periods or doing it in the end of the day if you're sure that you know first of all if, if you're used to training uh, late at the day and if you're sure that you know you'll have at least an hour uh, to spend uh, and you know use that instead of going to bed it's okay if you sleep a little bit less once a week or twice uh, it's gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna feel also better uh, you're gonna lower your stress you're gonna sleep better so definitely get it done either very early in the morning or have a specific time before going to bed. Now, tip number four is about diet. It's probably uh, pretty common that in these situations you won't have either time to uh, cook or to go at home and eat, so you're probably gonna be eating junk pretty often. That's okay if you just do it for a week or two, but just make sure that you're keeping your calories balanced so you know don't overdo it in terms of uh, calories keep your keep eating at uh, your calorie maintenance you know do a little bit of calculation on your phone or if you're used to it uh, doing these things with your eyes you know just eyeball your portions and be strict with your portions at least you know it's okay you won't eat that healthy but at least don't eat too much or too less if you're trying to gain weight our fifth and last tip is learning to adapt, learning to yield in these kinds of situations. You know, don't strive for perfection. Don't be either, you know, perfect or nothing. Cause if you do that, you're just gonna get frustrated after a certain point. You're just gonna get burned out. 
So these were my five tips for training during very busy times, very demanding times, uh, during times that you have unexpected things happening to your life. Practice these and you'll be okay. You know, of course you can do this for maybe two weeks, maximum three. After that, you know, you have to reschedule stuff. You have to get organized again. Don't go over two or maximum three weeks if you don't wanna regress in terms of progress. So that was all. I hope this video helps and I'll next time. Keep on training.